How's it going everybody? My name is Leon and this has been the big thing that I've been excited to, sh to show you guys. I am currently on the road on an East Coast trip with my family and um, I'm currently in St. John, New Brunswick on the East Coast of Canada and um, I'm currently in my hotel and I'll just sh quickly show you guys the view we got here. It's pretty rad. It's been a bit of a crummy day but over there we got Bay of Fundy. That's the ocean. And um, we're gonna be doing a lot of exploring, not tonight. Just resting up tonight, we've had a long drive. Tomorrow we're gonna go check out the Bayfront. Uh, we're gonna do some more exploring within the coast. There's lots to see around here. There are whales in this ocean and I gotta see a whale at some point. And um, so I'm super excited for what we're doing these next couple days. I'd also like to add that I stopped in Quebec City for two days and um, I like to think of Quebec City as kind of North America's Europe because of the city was built in the 16, 1700s, very old. And I was there for two days. I didn't film as much as I should have there because being a nature guy and being in a city, sometimes they don't always link together. However, it was still beautiful and I did still do some filming there and it turned out pretty good. So I'm going to include that in this video. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did in Quebec City right now and then we'll go to New Brunswick and see what we're gonna see here. So we got some real life cannons here. So I gotta, I gotta climb up and uh, we're going to attack the invaders of our city. So uh, I see some invaders there look like they're trying to take over our land. So, you know, you see that, see the boat right there? He's after us, I know he's after us. So we gotta take our cannon and destroy him, right? <laughs> it's, it's really cold actually. It's the middle of August right now and it feels like like September, like it feels like late September right now. Kind of weird, huh? Mm -hmm. A no, little bit. I wish I could shoot this cannon, but I don't have any. Uh... We don't have any cannonballs, sadly. Yeah. <laughs> Emma, I got you a moose. You're welcome. <laughs> This is where we're staying tonight. Here's the hotel. Just spent a couple hours here in Quebec City. Pretty, pretty interesting place. Lots of history. Everywhere you go, there's a story to tell. So it's very interesting. Anyway, like every good tourist does, I got a, I got a, a nice sweater that says Quebec City on it. So I just thought I'd show you guys quickly. It's actually quite nice. So here's my, my newest addition to my collection. I got my green shirt here, Quebec, Canada. And I like it a lot. I also got two bracelets right here. And um, you know, just to add the collection. This is my Rome, Italy bracelet. I got this bracelet when I went to Florida in March. So I'm just kind of starting a collection of bracelets from all the places that I visit. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed Quebec City. It was a really cool place. We're now in St. John, New Brunswick. I'm here with my little sister. And we're just walking through this little park. It's got some history to it. You know, people fought in battles. There's a graveyard here. But what caught my attention was this fountain with these beavers on it. And also this is actually really cool. They, uh, so they got the stairs here with the water running down the stairs. Oh my God, that's crazy. Okay, you guys got your city fill. Look at this. So I just went on all trails and I looked up a super random beach and I'm here at the lowest tide right now. The weather is very foggy and it's raining a little right now, but this is like one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I'm right here. I'm right about to enter this beach. I'll show you guys how it looks now. Oh my God. This place is mind blowing. Ooh, seaweed. Smell that ocean. I miss the ocean. I haven't been at the ocean since March. I'm here at Bay of Fundy right now. So it feels good to be back. This is what low tide looks like. So let me explain a little fun fact about the Bay of Fundy. This, the Bay of Fundy here, is where the most changes 
in the tides are. I don't really know how to put that into like smart guy words, but that's how I'm gonna word it. So basically, where I'm standing right now, the tide comes up this high. And as you can see, the tide is very far. So the tide can, in some parts here, tide morning to night can change by 14 meters. That's a lot, <laughs> especially in a day. So to be out here right now in a very unique place to me is just so amazing. So I'm gonna make my way to the water. I'm gonna give it a feel. I'm wearing my Crocs, so that way I don't get covered in sand, but I can still feel the water. I'm so excited for this. This is so cool. I don't even know where I am right now. Already the water's starting to come through. The waves are just over here. I'm so excited to feel this water. Okay, here we go. The water's right here. I'm gonna roll the pants up a little bit, you know, so that way I don't destroy them. Oh, it's, oh! That is kind of cold, I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, I'm a fairly honest guy and I can definitely say that that's chilly. <laughs> so you can tell the tide is making its way back up now. Look at these waves, they're fairly calm actually right now. My feet are freezing. Yeah, it's kind of chilly. <laughs> I looked up the water temperature yesterday and it said it was 54 degrees Fahrenheit. It's pretty cold and I don't think I can do that today. I have been in water like this before, but in Florida. <laughs> I remember one time in Florida, I went in water this cold, but it's Florida, so it, it doesn't feel as cold. Oh, my feet are freezing now. I'm not quite sure what I'm standing on right now. Looks like a seaweed hill. Oh no, it's a rock, it is a rock. We were, me and my sister were debating what this is. It's just a lot of seaweed on a rock. It's so slippery. Oh, you know why there's seaweed on it? because the tide comes up so high that it covers this. Oh. That's why there's seaweed on this. Nice. That's why. Emma's gonna eat a sea pickle. I am? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Where Is Liam Today? Today, I'm wandering on a beach within a ton of rocks. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, but I love it here. This is so freaking cool. From a distance, these things actually kind of look like seals, so I got excited, but they're just rocks. But I'm still not complaining. This place is so cool. I've never seen something like this. Have you? Have you seen something like this? Jeez. What a find here. I was, as you just saw, we were just walking through the city and my parents are like, all right, it's raining. Let's go find something to do on a beach. So with a quick search, I just found this place and I'm like, we're going here and boom, the rocks, they just keep going. What a find this place is. The mountains are just starting to peek out back there. Pretty rad. There's a big boy for you, jeez. Very smooth sand here. I'm on the other side of the beach now, and this side really striked my attention because of this. This rock, fully covered in seaweed. And the reason for that is because, as I mentioned with the tide changes, the water goes all the way up to the bottom of that hill, which to me is mind blowing. How the hell does that even happen? But it happens, and we just have to accept that. I'm walking to the end now, just to see how it is over here. My mind is just constantly being blown, and I love it. It does smell just a little bit over here, I will say. Man, this is just amazing. 
There's seaweed everywhere. I'm now in just chilling in the middle of the seaweed. Wow. I, to be honest, didn't even know this stuff existed like this. So I learned something new today, I guess. Something lives in this shell. It's amazing. I'm getting used to the water temperature. It's freezing cold, but I can tolerate it and it's worth it. The waves are getting a bit bigger, which means the tide's starting to come up. And it's beautiful. I'm glad it's cleared up. It was raining pretty heavily earlier. Can you see the birds all flying on the island? I'd like to check that island out. Let's see. What a find this place was, and I'm glad I got to experience this. So, we're gonna make our way back now. And can I hop in the car? I think we're gonna go to one other location here in St. John, New Brunswick. Pretty cool place, I will say. I definitely dig it. Tonight, I bet you, where I'm standing right now, the water will be like deeper than my height. And I'm not joking, which is crazy to think about. So, saying goodbye to the ocean for now, but we'll definitely be back. You know, sometimes I see things and I'm just speechless. This place kind of gave me that because I've never seen something like this, you know. I don't live near the ocean, I live near the Great Lakes, so our beaches are a little different. This is just something else, man. Quicksand. <laughs> oh, now it's muddy. What is that? Yeah, that's mud. Jeez. Welcome to our next location. Um, so down there, all the way down there is where we just were. As you can see, it's finally cleared up outside and it's warm. Put the sunglasses on and protect the eyes. And I'm, what I'm about to show you might blow your mind off a little bit. So uh, just prepare yourself. Isn't that a cool silhouette right there? Let me see how close I can get to it. Doesn't look like I can get too close, but it's okay. We're hitting up another spot. Gonna do a small bit of hiking. Look at this. Don't get trapped in it. Another beach. I think this is the coolest beach we've been to yet. I'm currently walking because of this huge sand hill caught my attention and I'd like to check it out up close. Also, look at that island over there. That is an island. I would love to check out that island. Pretty cool find. So we basically walked the entire beach. Look at this. This is a reward for getting to the end of the beach. These rocks, they're like freaking high. So what I find really interesting here is, as you can see, seaweed all at the end here. So you're telling me the sea level rises this high. That's outrageous. It's, it's taller than me. Look how high it can get all the way up there. That's outrageous. I'd love to see this at high tide now, but this is low tide. So I'll take you guys on a quick tour while we check this out. 
it's hard to believe that stuff like this can exist. And then I'm walking on this beach right here. This is my own little cove. This is my paradise right here. <laughs> What a journey that's been. Time to make our way out of here now. That's something, man. That's not something you see every day. That's for sure. To end off our day, we're going to check out the reversing falls, they're called. And I'm not quite, I don't quite get it yet, but basically how it works is, depending on the tide, the water flows one way, say at high tide, and then at low tide it flows the other way. Which is, I don't even understand how that's possible, but we're gonna go take a look at that now. There's also seals in here apparently. Let's see if we can find a seal. I highly doubt it, but if we do, that'd be so amazing. We've had a pretty fun day exploring beaches, checking out rapids, some really unique geographical things to see here. And I'm really happy with today. This wraps up today's video. Tomorrow, we're back on the road. We're going to the next province and uh, we're gonna be doing some amazing things. Staying in New Brunswick, checking out somewhere I've always wanted to see. And then we're heading over to the next province. That's the plan for tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw today. Quebec City and St. John, New Brunswick. Super fun and a really unique experience for both of us. What did you think of it? Yeah, I, th I thought it was cool. You thought it was cool? Yeah. All right, so if you liked what you saw, make sure you subscribe and leave a like. Until then, we'll see you all next time.